The worst flood season in history, China closed 40,000 hydroelectric dams. Since the 1950s, China has built dams large and small at a rapid pace to generate electricity, tame floods, provide irrigation for fields and drinking water for cities. However, they seem to be making the flooding worse. The evidence is that in recent years floods have become more and more serious. Many other dams simply become redundant as rivers dry up, reservoirs fill up or they are replaced by dams built upstream. The dams are doing more harm than good, said Wang Yongchen, founder of Green Earth Volunteers, a Beijing-based NGO. According to Chinese local media, more than 80 irrigation projects have been built in the Beijing area alone. In the 2010s, the river dried up an average of 316 days a year. At the end of 2017, the Yangtze River was the longest in China and its tributaries had more than 24,000 hydropower stations spread across 10 provinces. At least 930 of them were built without an environmental assessment. Many older dams pose a serious safety risk, especially during summer floods. According to China's Ministry of Water Resources, 3,515 reservoirs failed between 1951 and 2011, including the famous Banqiao Dam failure in Hunan province, along with 61 other dams that broke after six hours of flood discharge in January. August 1975, killing 240,000 people. Last July, during a flood that killed more than 300 people in Hunan province, the Yailin Dam also broke. China is preparing to close 40,000 hydroelectric dams in the near future after a series of dam failures during the flood season. The fatal damage caused by the collapse of dams is uncountable.